one of the important question uh, that generally whenever you are uh, giving any kind of api testing interview right uh, this uh, question is uh, explain me the constraints of uh, rest architecture okay and uh, in this video we will basically uh, see what are the five important uh, constraints of a rest architecture and we'll go with the optional one also which is called as code on demand okay let's go one by one and let's try to understand whatever the constraints are there right you should know about them at least you should know a one liner about them because many times this question is being asked on the api testing special interviews okay so let's get started hey guys welcome to the testing academy and let's go one by one the api uh, about the rest architectural constraints okay the first one is very simple which is basically says that uniform interface first of all what exactly is a rest guys a rest is nothing but it's a design pattern you can say it's an architectural style to develop apis okay if any api which follows these uh, five constraints we generally call him that it's a restful api right and what are the constraints constraints are nothing but set of rules right that you should follow that these api should follow so that they become rest okay so the first one is basically uniform interface and when you read the definition right it's uh, very very easy to understand actually let me pull up my marker also okay so it basically says that uh, interface between the client and server that allows for standard uh, standard standard client server communication in a single language so basically client is there and server is there and there is an interface available which where they can communicate with each other okay so if any api is able to achieve this we call it uni that it's basically follows this uh, constraint okay here you can say that app hypermedia as an engine of application state we are using hypermedia basically mean we are sending uh, some certain kind of json responses or uh, files uh, image pdf so hypermedia we are using in this case right and self descriptive messages messages contain all the information necessary to to interrupt and including the metadata so basically client and server are agreeing that uh, there is an interface and where they can understand each other in a simple language they can understand each other and through a single language that's it okay so the first constraint basically say that they can understand sure they should understand each other that's and it should be a uniformity therefore there should be a uniformity i know it's a little tricky let's go to the next uh, constraint first and we'll uh, and you will get more clarity afterwards okay i think this one is very simple which is basically client server that you have to, if there there should be one client and there should be a server client basically request something for example clients ask okay what is 2 plus 2 server says okay it's a 4 and you do the magic behind the scene client server model i think it's very simple you have read this multiple times in your engineering right uh, client server model is for basically concerned with client and server it basically supports portability scalability and most of the things right now even if you are using chrome browser which basically and if you are opening a google.com behind the scene there's a server which basically serve your the html page right to you as a client so this is actually used by mm, i think every, everywhere that we are using client server technology here yeah, right now if you are using web you are you already know this okay cool what exactly is stateless uh, many many times people ask you what well, stateless is basically uh, if you say it's a refers to communication protocol okay where server has no information about the session states it basically uh, this is a client okay this is a simple client and uh, it basically ask okay hey what is 2 plus 2 and server says i don't know who you are i don't remember you but here is answer for you right and i am stateless basically i don't know where what was the state that you have been into uh, i don't know what you what's your state right now but i don't remember anything right and i will just give you the answer that's it server doesn't remember anything if you say it doesn't know about your states anywhere okay and this diagram is actually really important let me zoom out a little bit where they have mentioned maximum uh maximum constraint here see all the explicit information client is here okay so uniform interface basically means uh, they are using different type of uh, stpp methods and uh, these stpp methods actually both of them understood understands client is asking what server knows and there's a uniformity here uh, cacheable i think we will go again so here client can cache the response here and uh, here you, you will see server is there stateless communication basically uh, we don't care who is the client we will just uh, here server is basically here to serve the purpose that's it 
Okay, cacheable basically means uh, server mark the response as cacheable or non-cacheable. They basically mark your response. You asked two plus two, and server basically say, okay, cache this four. Don't ask me again and again for a certain period of time at least, right? And uh, you'll see this magic many times uh, if you go to this here, right? For example, this one. Uh, this is a request that I have made API request, right? Here you will see cache response, right? Cache control, maximum age. So it's basically telling you don't ask me again and again. This is a response client. Please keep it to yourself. That's it. So this is actually the cacheable. Client and intermediaries are able to catch the server response. So they can basically uh, store the information. Okay. So two plus two is four. Please. Uh, please keep it to yourself and with the duration of expiry. Okay, there should be expiry in this case. Layered system, nothing but it basically says that you uh, this is server. There can be n number of layers before that. It can be security layer, authentication layer, load balancer, and blah 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 layers. Multiple layers can be there. Client is directly you are seeing right now what is client is directly contacting to server. Actually, there are multiple layer of authentication, blah blah security, stress performance, load balancers. Uh, before going to the server, okay, to our security purposes. Uh, layers between client and server can consist intermediaries such as proxy servers, load balancer, security, blah, 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 and many things, okay? So these things is, again, constraints. So for more, little confusing. Uh, if in a if API is following layered system, if it is uh, following cacheless, state, uh, stateless, uniformity, and uh, so it will become restful, yes? Yes, exactly, Not, don't confuse. This, these are just constraints, set of rules you have to follow. If you are following it, you become restful, that's it. Very easy to understand, okay? Last one is basically code on demand. It's basically an optional, where uh, it's a rest. Uh, if you are someone, client can download the features or it can download the source code also. For example, you have seen Java applet, right? Let me show you older. I think Java applets don't work right now in modern browser. So if you go to this link, right, you will see that applets that doesn't work, but you can download the source if you see. Right now they are allowing you source, but many times it was running also, and you can download the source also. For example, Java applets and JavaScript logic you can download, right? Many times in the uh, client side, right? That's it. So about the constraint again, uh, little bit about this client server. Remember first one client server, which basically says uh, we have a client, we have a client, we have a server, they cannot communicate with each other, request and response. You request something, you get a response. That's it. Cool. Stateless basically means don't remember anything. Uh, server is basically dumb. Don't remember anything afterwards. It don't care about your states. Uh, cache server can say, please cache your response to the client with the expiry. Okay. They can say infinite expiry also. Uniformity, they communicate on a single language. Okay, layered system, they can have multiple layer between server and client. You can have multiple layers. Code on demand is basically upgradable. I'd basically say you can download the features or the source code also whenever required, but it's an optional, okay? So I hope that makes sense. And uh, this is actually a very, really, really important interview question, guys. So pay attention and make sure you know, know at least one point what exactly they are. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, this is yours, Pramod. I hope this. Uh, I hope I made some of the constraint clear for you guys. Still, if you have a doubt, you can put down in the comment. I will be happy to discuss. Let's discuss more about it so that we understand. Okay. And if you want to learn about API testing, software testing, Selenium, and Cypress, and Py, Playwright, and many more. Or you will become, want to become as as dead, right? You can uh, subscribe to the Testing Academy channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.